Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Jujutsu Kaisen episode 12. So Junpei went rogue last episode. He donned the black jacket. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, his attractive mum passed away. Well, you can't talk about her like that. Well, I can. I'm stating the facts, right? You know, they make all the characters attractive in this show, but Mahito and Ghetto have been doing some dodgy stuff. They planted one of Sukuna's fingers, which drew a curse. Mm -hmm. Cursed spirit. Killed his mum. So when Junpei finds that out eventually, if he does, he's going to get really, really mad. Yeah. Do you remember that conversation they had a couple of episodes ago? It only came to me when I went back and had a look at it. Junpei was holding a tiny disfigured person. What is it called? Transfigured? Yeah, transfigured. Yep. And Mahito was like, how does it make you feel? And Junpei was like, you know, nothing really. But if it was my mum, then mm. I'd probably hate you. Yeah, I know. Crazy foreshadowing. Yes. Insane. And that piece of crap Mahito was like comforting him in his home. You know what I hate? I hate how Mahito's kind of likable. That really pisses me off. No. I'm trying to force myself not to like him because, you know, he's the evil cursed spirit. Yeah, born from hate. That's right, but he's so infectious. It's infuriating. Mm -hmm. Good villain, though. Yeah, he is. But if there's one character I hate, it's Ghetto. He's smiling all the time and he's up to no good. Yeah. So I want to know exactly what him and Mahito were kind of talking about, why they're so interested in Yuji and Sukuna. We, we kind of don't know, but their plan has worked. They've drawn Yuji in. You know what Yuji's like, you know, he's straight there. Yeah, doesn't take much. No, and he kind of goes on his own path. He doesn't really follow the plan to, to a T. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here. I mean, we had Junpei confronting some of the people that he thought would want his mum killed. Yeah. So there was the teacher and one of his bullies. Mm -hmm. It's obviously not those two, but Junpei doesn't know that. Well, Mahito let him write to them. That's right. So I guess Junpei is kind of like you were saying last episode, getting used as that link to Yuji and Sukuna. And the Jujutsu Sorcerers yeah, in general. That's right. And for what purpose? We're not quite sure. We we do know that they're interested in trapping Gojo because Gojo's the goat. Yep. He's too strong. Yeah. We actually did have a few things clarified. So we like to watch the episodes maybe two or three at a time and then we kind of get a whole bunch of comments clarifying things that we've missed. So just quickly to go into them before we move on to the next episode. So some of the things that I wrote in the book were Nanami talking about the pact. Yes. So he made like a, a time pact where he can't use the specific like amount of cursed energy that he has. During that period of time. Yeah. And there's and there's like a... um. In this show, they make a point of like, you have to give something up in return to gain something, something like that. And that thing that he has to give up is telling his foe about his technique. That's the pact. Right. You, you get it now? now? I don't know how good my explanation was. I think it was pretty rough, but you, you get the gist. Another thing were the power levels. I say power levels like it was Dragon Ball Z, but we did see a diagram that kind of showed how powerful grade one sorcerers are. Yes, next to each other. Yeah, next to each other. But people were pointing out that it gets a little bit fishy when you get to the top. Right. Okay. Obviously, that makes it a bit more interesting too. Yeah. Because you have like a special grade sorcerer versus a special grade curse. Mm -hmm. And if the sorcerer is like clearly above, then it's like, oh, well, we know who's going to win. Yeah. It's kind of like they've got a lot of potential. And someone made a point that one of Sukuna's fingers is a special grade curse. But then Sukuna as a whole is also a special grade curse. So like, okay, you know, there's a big discrepancy there. So I guess they've just got a lot of potential. That's kind of what a special grade sorcerer and curse is. So it's good that we've had that clarified. I think this episode will probably explore more about Junpei, he's kind of getting his whole little arc here. Yeah. He's an interesting character. Yeah, he is. I wonder where it's going to pick up from now because we have the veil over the school. Yeah. Um, Junpei is about to go all in on this bully guy, but Yuji's just rocked up. Yeah, that's right. How did Yuji rock up, by the way? He probably would have seen the um the veil or something. Okay. Was he just around at the time or? Well, he's meant to be like tracking Junpei. Like that's kind of his... Right. His thing right now, part of his mission. So maybe those two are going to fight. That would be interesting. I don't know about that. Junpei versus Yuji. That would be interesting. Yeah. I'd like to see that. I'm not going to lie. We don't really know what he can do, Junpei. No. We've seen a little bit. Yeah. And it's alluded to some things. Yeah. But we haven't seen him in all his glory. No. I don't think even Junpei knows what he can do to his full extent. 
yeah, he seems pretty clueless about himself, mm. to be honest. But if you guys are interested in early access and the full-length reactions to all of these videos, make sure to check out our Patreon down below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Oh, so he's gone against him. Satozakura Koko near Kano Sega Takai, Sugar Modorimas, Tadoriko, and Taiki State. Who's he with? So you are can on the Atoma Casimas, Ino Kun. Ino Kun Nani Kamonda demo. Who's this dude? Okay. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, he totally rebels. This guy's been through it. Seriously. <laughs> Ijichi. Poor dude. <laughs> to you someday. Giving me Attack on Titan vibes. Sounds like Lose Yourself by Eminem. Oh, yeah. That would be fitting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wait, so he's got Shikigami? Seems a bit different, doesn't it? Oh, the voice acting there. Oh, dang. He's clearly chosen his side. He's just lost at the moment. Right, that's the purple blotches. Oh. It is Shikigami, you're right. I said that ages ago. Mm. It's actually kind of cute. Buddy Mahito, sorry, trained him up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's doing nothing to it. Oh, dang. There we go. Divergent fist. Moon drag? I would have called it electric jellyfish personally. <laughs> oh. This is not This is not him. Okay? <laughs> He's so damn cool. <laughs> oh, dang. Smacked him all the way up to level one. He's grieving, man. Yeah. Needs a hug. Next level voice acting. Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh! Did he expect him to fight back or something? Obviously. <gasps> it's two of them. Maybe this is the only way he could get through to him. Yeah. Let's go, Yuji. Yuji's the man. 
So good. Oh, he didn't know. Yes, yes, go. I hope he goes. Oh, oh shit. Don't engage. Oh. oh, crap, oh, crap. What's did warn you. He 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 did warn you. Wow. I didn't expect the betrayal to happen straight away. Just whispering poison into his ear all the time. Oh no! You're kidding! Can you turn him back? Oh, he's a crocodile! I don't know if that's a crocodile, but... <gasps> oh, Mahito's a piece of crap! Oh no! No! <laughs> oh, this is exactly what Mahito wants. Yes. What? Why would he listen? Yeah, true. Why am I surprised? Oh no. Mm-hmm. Reverse curse techniques. What? I'm sure we'll find out in a sec. So they're interested in his healing capabilities or something? Is that what I read there? What is going on? Oh, push and pay. Oh, no, no. No, no, he was going to be part of the jujitsu sorcerers. Oh, you're just going to lose it. He's going to lose full. He looks so good in the uniform with them all. I like Junpei. I reckon he was a good character. <laughs> He's not dead. He can't be dead. Finally, someone did it. Ooh, the music. <gasps> yeah. What kind of punch was that? Wow. Alright, now he's excited, of course. Halfway. That was epic. Yeah. That line there? Yeah. <laughs> he said what he said. Uh, it's like torture. Oh. Trying to recruit. I feel like Skuna can't be recruited. Go off. 
Dude, the animation looks epic. Never seen him like this. Does he have wings? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right. Mm -hmm. They're both learning. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what is that? Oh, dude, this is epic. I have to say. Oh my god! Oh! Ew, it's like attached to him still! It's the Warhammer. Oh, man. Yes, go, go. Dude, Yuji's bossing it right now, I have to say. He's holding his own. Is that the saying? Yeah. Mahito has so much untapped power yeah. as well. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, he loves it. No. It's running him. Is Sukuna the alpha here? Yeah, Sukuna is the toughest. Oh my, oh my gosh. I bet he's smiling. I bet money that he's smiling, that bastard. Dude, the animation's next level. No. no. Okay. What? No, crap. Attracted to him right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so am I. He's so pissed with Yuji, though. Oh, yeah. How is he fine? He's got like five holes in him. Uh. Oh, Nanami couldn't make him bleed, I don't think. Mm. Oh, he needs Yuji. <laughs> Big lecture incoming. Oh, they're gonna team up! <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but... But I'll enjoy seeing Don't end try. the episode. <laughs> What's going on here? Are we back in the Bahamas? No. No. Don't do it. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, dear. He's going to whoop them all. What the hell is going on? No. I won't accept that as a stroll. I that won't was, accept that. It was hard to get through. That was my favorite episode, I think. Really? Yeah, that'd be up there with the Gojo one. Mm. I loved that episode. It, it was a great episode. It was so good. I think it had a really good balance between like 
really, really good dialogue, mm-hmm. really, really good animation, really good music, really good fighting. Nanami came in with the save. <laughs> You're right. That man, yeah. That's a special man. That is a special man. Yeah. Big fan of Nanami. <laughs> People were predicting this. And we kind of gave him shit in the first time, like in the first episode that we saw him. Yeah, we we're kind of like, who's this guy? Yeah, we'll what's just, his deal? Yeah, but because he was a little bit of a snob. Yeah. But he's epic. The more you get to know him, mm-hmm. he's actually got, you know, layers to him. And he's really lovely. He really cares about the kids and stuff. Yeah, you he know? does. He does. You know, he's just serious in his approach. I love Nanami. Mm-hmm. I, I think he's like, yeah, he'd be top three for me, I think. There's so many characters, so that's a compliment, definitely. Yep. Uh, I really liked that exchange between Yuji and Junpei, I think, at the start of the episode. Well, it kind of started off and they were fighting. Mm-hmm. You can see Junpei's going through all the emotions now. Like, he's got that grief. Yeah. He's just lost his mom, mm-hmm. probably the most important person in his life. Yeah. And he's taking it out, you know, but he doesn't know who's actually responsible, obviously. Well, yeah, until... Oh, man. Until Mojito goes and reveals that himself. Now, Mojito taught Junpei his curse technique and all that poison. So he did, in fact, have the shikigami mm-hmm. at his disposal, the jellyfish. Nice pick. It's poison. It, that's his curse technique. That's why we saw the blotches and stuff on... On the bully, and just as we were kind of learning more about Junpei, and I was really enjoying his character, Mahito goes and turns him into a curse. And then he died. Yeah. But it kind of feels It doesn't feel so final. Yeah, it doesn't feel final. I was going to say that it does not feel final because him and Yuji, I feel like they they were starting to develop a really good friendship, or to some degree. And it felt really quick. So I will be disappointed if that is the end of Junpei. I know there are like more seasons planned, so maybe he's still there somewhere. Yeah. I want nothing more for Junpei to firstly come back <laughs> yeah. somehow. Yeah. Um, and secondly, to be part of the Jujutsu family. You loved that picture, didn't you? Yeah. It was a nice it shot. It was the biggest tease I've had this this whole series. It's yeah. Junpei in the uniform. Yeah. That was quite nice. Yuji was a boss. I, You know, he's really coming into his own now as the main in this show. Yeah. I was unsure about him at the start, but I like his philosophies. I was kind of referring to that scene where Yuji allowed himself to get injured mm. by Junpei, and he kind of walks forward and just talks with him. He's just, like, there for him. Yeah. He doesn't just, even care that he's no, tried to hurt him. He doesn't care about the mission. He kind of, with Yuji, he cares about... The person in front of him. Yeah, not, not the goal. Not the stuff around, not the surrounding noise. He cares about what's in front of him, which I really like about the character. It's very um, you, very unique in an MC to kind of just have tunnel vision with very specific, um, in very specific moments. He does display a lot of sympathy for characters and stuff as well. I thought it was so beautiful when he just like walked towards him and he like knelt down and was like, tell me about it. Yeah, talk to me. Very nice. But then after that, there was a lot of key information, I think, with Mahito and things regarding Sukuna. Now, obviously, Yuji's forgotten about the pact or the contract slash vow, whatever whatever words they use to describe it, right? And Mahito doesn't know that Sukuna's already made that binding vow with Yuji. But Sukuna's not going to be, like, accommodating to Mahito and what no. he wants. I'm under the impression now that Mojito and Ghetto want to make a like a pact with Skuna. Yeah. Nothing's telling me that it's going to happen that way. No. At the moment, Mojito is like the alpha of that group. Yeah. But Skuna, I feel like, is just the strongest. He's, and He's the alpha of the whole lot, it looks like, doesn't it? Yes. I do get that vibe as well. What exactly do they want with Skuna? I guess just to recruit him to his side. A chance to defeat... Gojo. Gojo yeah. and yeah. do whatever else they want to do. Yeah. Schooner, though, we don't know what he wants to do. That's the mystery here because, you know, I, I've been waiting for him to say that phrase, which I forgot. I'm sure when it comes up or the word, when it comes up, we'll know what's happening. But he did say whenever he says a word, he takes control. For like a minute? For a minute. 
And he still hasn't done that. Mm. I'm just waiting, like, to see what he's going to utilize that minute for. I think it's got to do with Megami. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He was really interested in him, wasn't he? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I think you could be right about that, actually. Mm. Because I, I was kind of expecting it now around the Mojito. Yeah, and he had thing. no interest. He had no interest. He does not give a crap about Mojito or any of those guys. No, so you could be right there. But Mojito did, you know, have the upper hand there. He was going to win that fight if Nanami didn't step in, which was epic, mind you. That was just, oh. it was wholesome, epic. It was everything. I just loved that scene. That was so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Nanami, that dude that he was talking about at the start. With the beanie? Oh, yeah, the dude he was talking to at the start. Yeah. Ino or something? Ito? Yeah. So- something like that. The only information we've got on him is that he's a grade two, just like Yuji, I believe. Or is Yuji grade three? I think I think he's grade two. I'm pretty sure he's grade yeah, two. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, he was training him up, I guess, and the dude wasn't happy about being left there, but... Yeah. None of me just said, you know, I'll put in a good word for you sort of thing. <laughs> and then he was all right. Yeah, promotional opportunity. <laughs> so maybe he's another character that we're going to meet soon. Yeah, it did seem a bit random, didn't it? I yeah. guess that's their way of introducing someone new. Yeah. I I think the show's got so much potential with their characters because of the sheer amount of them. I really hope there are a lot of episodes yes. or seasons. I'm hoping for minimum four. Four seasons? I'm hoping for like an 80-odd episode show. We that, have to let everyone shine. Yeah, that might be wishful thinking. You know, 80 episodes is quite a bit, but I guess we don't know how this season's going to end, so it, it's hard to say. It's whether or not there's a lot of story left. It's whether or not the manga's finished. Yeah, that's true. But I think with the amount of characters that they have, I just hope there are a lot of episodes to go with that rather than the characters just be like a footnote and forgotten about. I do feel bad for Ijuchi. Yeah. He seemed so done when Yuji was just like, see ya. Well, he's doing as much as he can. Like, he's kind of powerless to stop these sort of people, but... Yeah. I reckon he's doing a great job. He's trying. He's trying to keep everyone in check. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. He's a nice guy. He needs a holiday. You can tell. He does. 100%. So it was interesting at the end of the episode where Nanami was like pondering on why Yuji could hurt Mahito or like make him bleed. He was saying that Mahito won't hurt Yuji because of Sukuna or he can't injure Yuji because of Sukuna. Now, is it both? So I think Nanami was hypothesizing or guessing that because Mahito did touch Yuji, that he either wasn't able to kill him yep. or that he wouldn't kill him for some reason, but it's like Skuna. We yeah. know that. Yeah. So maybe Yuji can like injure Mahito because he's got all those cursed energy like reserves due to Skuna being there. Mm-hmm. So I think that's kind of benefiting Yuji a little bit in his fighting at least. Skuna just being present in his soul or whatever. And that's why what Mahito couldn't transfigure. Yuji. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards like he doesn't want to do that because if he transfigures Yuji, then what happens to Sukuna? Well, I think he tried to do it, but then Mahito saw that there were two souls, two separate souls, and he he couldn't do something. I I have to go back and watch that scene specifically because he said something. So I think he was trying to touch Sukuna so that he could be like, let's do something here. Yeah, yeah, come to my side. Yes. Yeah, but for, you know... Whatever reason, he just couldn't take control of the soul there. Because you saw that scene, it was shot in such a way, well, not shot, it was animated in such a way where, like, he was talking to Sukuna, and then when Sukuna was done talking to him, you just see Mahito, like, instantly out. He was straight out of the soul, <laughs> straight out of the conversation, got kicked out. Mm-hmm. So there's obviously, like, that protection there. So Yuji kind of has some sort of. Not invincibility, but like some sort of protection because of Skuna. But it was made pretty obvious this episode that Skuna is like the number one boss in the show. Yes. Oh, Gojo. Still think it's Gojo. I don't know. I still think it's Gojo. I think it'll probably come to that where like it might be Gojo v Skuna, but until then we can't really say. 
Yeah, I, I'm just wondering, like, if it came down to it, the boss fight would be Gojo versus Skuna, I'd assume. Mm. So maybe Skuna does actually want what Mahito wants, what Ghetto wants, and that's to trap Gojo and kind of take over because Gojo's in their way there. But then I think if it came down to it after that, Skuna would still want to be in control, like, over the rest of them, you know, Mahito and Ghetto. He wants to be the king. Yeah. You saw him sitting there like mm-hmm. that. Oh, yeah, true. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And, yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.